Hello YouTube, back for my weekly video. This is Jonathan Buford, and today we're going to do a quick review on the book Vagabonding, an uncommon guide to the art of long-term world travel by Rolf Potts. So this is one of my favorite books, and I've been wanting to do this review for a long time. And I'm also working on trying to get my videos to be shorter, so I'm really concentrating on making this short and concise, which is hard because it's one of my favorite books. Listening to this book, again, reminded me of why I'm doing what I'm doing, why I'm, why I'm working so hard at moving my income online and traveling full time. Because, um, yeah, I love travel. Travel puts you in the moment. It opens your mind, it like creates different perspectives, it helps you grow spiritually. And listening to this book again reminded me of all those reasons that I want to travel. And um, the quote I wanted to share was this, and it's too long for me to remember, so I'm just going to have to read it off this paper. If travel truly is in the journey and not the destination, if travel really is an attitude of awareness and openness to new things, then any moment can be considered travel. Now, I wrote that down because we are working towards being digital nomads, me and my wife. We're not quite there yet. So reading that and really internalizing it helped me to remember that really it's the destination, that, that it's about the, it's not the destination, it's the journey. It's the journey, it's not the destination. So, you know, before I did this video, before I, you know, put up all the equipment and everything, I was doing my psychobiology paper. So that was part of my journey. And right then when I was doing my paper, that was all I had, that moment. So it kind of reframed things for me and put things back into perspective that like, and helped me to not so much be living for when we finally get the ticket or when we're on the plane or when we're like, when we arrive in Thailand or and actually, you know, bring my focus back to the here and now. So there's a lot of philosophy in the book. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of spirituality in the book. There's tons of quotes from famous people, Mark Twain, a bunch of others. There's a bunch of resources. There's a bunch of practical information. And at the same time, there's some really like, I'd say even like there's esoteric like um, thought in there. There's a lot of a lot of stuff at the end of each chapter, and each chapter, uh, um, you know, each one is packed full of stuff, not just for people who are trying to be digital nomads or who are interested in travel, but if you're already doing this, if you're already out doing the digital nomad thing, this book is for you. But at the end of each chapter, there is stories, personal stories. And I think that's a Tim Ferriss thing. Uh, this is. Uh, this book is on, it's like the number one position on his, his book club. And when he had that nervous breakdown, he actually uh, read, was reading this book over and over and over again, put notes on all the, all the pages. Once again, thank you, Tim Ferriss, for all that you've done for, um, you know, uh, multiple, in, people working towards multiple income streams, people looking towards, uh, you know, traveling full time. Huge resource there. So this was on his list, and that's how I found the book. So at the end of each chapter, there's going to be stories from people who are already doing it, people who are already traveling full time. This book isn't directed 100% uh, at people who are trying to be digital nomads, but it's for people who are tr who are looking for a book full of uncommon, and it is un uncommon. I think the biggest part of why it's uncommon is because it's so spiritual in nature, so many parts of it. Uh, it's very deep. It's very deep. I love the book, as you can tell. Uh, so yeah, at the end of each chapter, there's stories from people like relating to stuff that was contained in the chapter, and it's very inspirational. Uh, you know, there's people, you know, from 20 years old. I keep saying, you know. Anyway, 100% recommend this book. I would probably give it a 4.8 stars, and it really inspired me and helped me to remember why I'm doing all this work in the first place. So that's good. That's good. I've mentioned this quite a few times before. Most of this stuff, when it comes to working towards your dreams and building a business and 
you know, trying to hustle up something, create a business out of nothing, create a YouTube channel. Most of the stuff is just sitting down and doing the work, but it helps along the way to have inspiration as well. So it's, you know, commitment and sitting down and doing your stuff, but it's also helpful and it feels good to have a book every now and then that is inspiring. And it's just a good guide, you know, beyond all the other stuff that I like uh, for me right now, you know, reminding me that it's about the moment. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of ideas in there. I'll probably edit this out, but there's like a whole bunch of ways that this guy looks at travel and reality that are different than mine and helpful and um, ideas that have helped me to open my mind, not just towards uh, travel and uh, long-term travel, but just everyday life in itself. So I'm hoping going forward as I continue to work on this stuff that I can um, remember that, that right now, what I'm living in, what I'm going through, what I'm doing right now is all I got. And it is part of my journey. And that helps me make a lot of peace with, uh, with the whole, like, hurry up and relax. Hurry up and, you know, go have adventure type thinking. Being in the present, being in the moment, and uh, just doing what I'm doing right now. Right now. So, that's about it for this book. So, next week we will be going over, I think... An extended summary of Tim Ferriss's book, The Tools of Titans. And I can't, I don't have time to read that book right now. It's a big old book. But I do want to glean some of the information from the book right now. I think it'll give me some leverage on some of the stuff that I'm, I'm working on. So I found a really good extended summary that has really good reviews. So we will probably be doing next week's video on that extended summary. I will leave the link for this book below. Not only for the Audible version, but for the regular hardback, uh, paperback. Uh, yeah, I think it comes in paperback down below. I'll leave both those links. If you like the video, please press like below. And as always, it always helps me if you subscribe. So the subscribe button is a little rectangular red thing down below. Please sub, and I appreciate your time, and I will talk to you next week.